After the recent heat wave, both students and staff at NHS have complained to the school admin about the learning environment and temperature. The heat has caused lack of focus in classes and frustration in the building. Due to the current rules, the school cannot turn on the chillers except when instructed to by the board. We spoke to chair on the school committee, Gwen Agna, and NHS faculty and students to get insight on this important issue. I think I can speak for all on the school committee that we're very concerned about the learning environment um, in the days of climate change and unsafe situations in classrooms. And we will be looking at our budget for that in the days to come. If you've spoken with the superintendent and she was given advice that we don't close school for heat, and that was something that I think the teachers had some concerns about, and she expressed her concern as well that she was following what had been past practice around schools being open or closed because of heat. Over the past few weeks, the heat in my classroom has affected uh, the learning environment greatly. It's had a negative impact all around, um, to the point of maybe even triggering a medical emergency. So the temperature in the in the classroom has definitely affected my learning. It's just made it a lot harder to uh, to pay attention in class and to especially like listening to lectures and that kind of thing. It gets it gets really difficult when it's hot and everyone's like really sweaty and um, it's just so difficult to concentrate. Oftentimes, the heat also affects the teachers a lot. I've noticed, especially I'm in Mr. Littlefield's class two periods a day. It makes it a lot harder for him to teach. I know, and for him to like give lectures and stand there while he's like uh, while he's super hot and sweating, it's it's very difficult for him. I know, and a lot of other teachers too. The chillers not being used, the the decision by the city not to turn them on. Uh, I think it's unconscionable. Uh, I think it's an OSHA violation. And it has everything to do with economics, but the working and learning conditions are such that we just can't function. I think we all notice that the air conditioners are on where the students aren't, in the office, in guidance. And, and I wish I was a guidance counselor or administrator on those weeks because being a teacher or a student, like a thousand of us suffer. And I, I just think, so they know it's hot, but they don't, they don't condition their classrooms. And I, sure. we have chillers and yet they, they're not turned on. And it, it borders somewhere between lack of empathy and lack of money, I guess. And I don't know which one comes first, the empathy or the money, but we've got to change something. In this building, our administration has responded to concerns around the learning environment, specifically as it pertains to temperature, in a really positive way. Um, Principal Worley contacted downtown and asked for the chillers to be turned on, not the week after the extreme heat, but the week after that where the humidity was really high and it was just kind of swampy in here. But the superintendent actually met with the leadership of the, the union and has agreed to come up with a plan in order to find cooling spaces and to close buildings if necessary due to the heat. So overwhelmingly we've had a positive response for our long-term plan, but the short-term plan is is questionable. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week on the transcript.